Hello, hello, it's Ellie from Awesome EVs and today I'll be talking about how much it really costs to charge an EV. Now right now I've got 31% battery. Feels like about the right time to top up or recharge. So let's find out how long it's gonna take to charge and how much money it'll cost. Now, another thing you need to know about my car is that uh, the range in total is 490 kilometers when it's at 100%. And I've had this car for over a year and it's still held that range. It seems to be true uh, thus far. Battery hasn't changed. And also currently with the car's 31% battery reading, it's saying that the range is 152 kilometers. So I've actually still got quite a lot of range to play with. I could still be using this car for the rest of the week if I'm just making short trips but let's find out how it goes. It's not the nicest day for it, but that's all right. Today I am topping up using my RFID card, which is kind of like when you have a public transport card that you tap on and tap off. It's got like a little chip in it, like a credit card, and it's connected to my EV account, which means I can use these EV chargers, this little bird kind of logo. But I find this really quick and easy, so uh, I like to use the card. So I can hear it booting up now that it was successful. And this is the info you'll get on screen. Power up in a second. There it goes. So the charger not only knows how much kilowatts it's putting into the battery, but it's also got the percentage of my car and how long it's been charging for. You can hear this powering up now. So now that I'm plugged in, the inside of my car is telling me how much power is coming into it, percentage of my car's battery charge, and how long it thinks it's gonna take for me to get to a full charge. I'm gonna start the stopwatch as well, just to be accurate. So something that's interesting about using a public EV charger is that just like a petrol station, the cost can vary on your location or if you're in an off-peak or on-peak charging time. Now today, the charger I'm at, it's charging me 64 cents per kilowatt hour and I also saw that on other charges in different areas it was as high as 75 cents per kilowatt hour and as low as 45 cents. For my area the typical price seems to be 65 cents. I don't know if that's normal. It's not something that I would go shopping around for. Like I'm happy with 65 cents per kilowatt hour and I wouldn't you know drive 20 minutes to the next one because often charges are between 15 and 20 minutes apart. Now for a lot of people finding a charging station figuring out how to charge can be challenging. So that's something I'm totally happy to make some more videos on if you'd like to request that in the comments. And while we're on that topic, if you think that's kind of nuts chasing down a charger, I will say, funnily enough, I rarely use public chargers because I use this car mostly for like just running around and occasional long drives. I charge it uh, at my house uh, just slowly overnight or during the day. And so my need for going out and using a public charger is pretty rare unless I'm doing a drive that's maybe longer than two hours. And there are two ways to charge from home. You can get yourself a special fancy EV charger which charges at like a reasonable speed or you can just charge using trickle charging which is basically plugging your car into your regular wall socket and it's super slow but you know I do that like I said overnight or during the day when I'm not using the car um, and I never really have to worry about it to be honest. If you're coming out to a public charger that's probably because you want to charge up faster than usual. So today I don't want to have my car charging all day so I've come to a public charger to charge it up you know in like 20, 30 minutes. But as you might've noticed, it says that my car is gonna take almost a full hour to charge up to full from where it's at. And that is a pretty long time. So, you know, when you have an electric car, it's kind of clever if you can time your charging experience with an activity, such as shopping, going out to lunch, or something like that. And the good news there is that charges are being put in more so at locations where you will be preoccupied, like at grocery stores or shopping centers. But there's also something else I can add to that. And there's this funny little underground rule with EV owners, and that is you shouldn't really charge your car past 80%. And that's because the battery chemistry actually changes when it gets close to full. And that's something that happens on a lot of different tech devices, even your mobile phone. You might notice when you plug your phone into charge, it'll charge reasonably quickly until it gets really close to the end. And then it seems to take a lot longer. That's actually really similar when it comes to electric cars. So if you just really need to charge your car, but you don't need every single extra little bit of range, it's just like a common practice, or at least I think it is. I don't know if everyone actually knows this, that you don't really charge your car much over 80%. I don't know if it's necessarily a realistic thing that everyone can do, but I guess it's something that EV owners try to do considering we still have 
probably not enough charges to go around. Um, I've never really had an issue, but in more busy places, metropolitan areas and CBDs, sometimes you are kind of fighting for a charger. So it's just a nice thing to do because it means you're gonna be parked there a lot longer if you're taking it from 80 to 100%. So right now I can open the EV app to see how my charge is going, which is really convenient. If you are out shopping or something, you can see, should I spend a little bit longer walking around <laughs> um, or not? So it's apparently been about 14 minutes and we've spent $10.13 so far, which isn't too bad. And of course there is the option of just sitting back in your car in your air conditioning while waiting for your car to charge up. Some electric vehicles even have massage seats in their car which is mind-blowing I'm jealous <laughs> so you can kind of see what I'm talking about now with the battery slowing down as it's charging closer to 80% so you can see we're up to 73% and it still says there's 34 minutes to go now according to my clock I've been waiting for the charge for 23 minutes so it's taken me 23 minutes to go from 31% to 73 okay so we're about to hit 80% charge and because I want to keep this test True to life, if we were to stop at 80%, let's see how much we'd pay. We would be paying, charging, $20.29. Maybe I'm gonna stop the charge at 80% and then restart it for the final. Okay, there it goes, 80%. 30 minutes and $20.93. Every time I show this screen, it's so dirty back here. <laughs> I try to keep it clean, I swear. Yep, no, nah, still looks dirty. I'm going to stop the charge now. All right. Turn the plug and it says, have a great day. So we're good. Don't forget your cups. I wanna see how much range I have in the car now that we got to 80%. I've got 404 kilometers of range at 82%. See, I feel like that's plenty. Like I don't need to charge to full, but I'm gonna plug it back in for you guys just for this test because all of the other charging stations around me are free and available. So I'm not taking up anyone's spot that desperately needs to charge so we can really get a price on this. So I'm gonna go plug back in, <laughs> it's so silly. Okay. Make sure you always check that this starts up before you leave and make sure it initiates charging. So you're gonna want it to like move around the needle and uh, registering the percentage of your car. There you go. So there it goes. Now we know it's actually working. Okay, I'm gonna leave the car for another 26 minutes just for you guys, even though I normally wouldn't do that. So I've decided to go on a quick stroll while I finish up my car's charging. And I just got a notification from the EV app saying, hey, if you do not need a full charge, please consider ending your charge because your battery's charging time seriously slows down, you know, when it's close to full, which is what I was saying. So yeah, originally I wasn't going to do a full charge for this test for this video, but I'm just trying to get out there the costs of charging an EV uh, to help people out. So I'm going through with it for this video. I'm soaked. Such shit weather. <laughs> uh, it's kind of refreshing to be honest, because it's been so hot in Australia lately, but uh, so rained on. We have now waited pretty much exactly an hour for the car to charge from about 30% to full. And oh, here we go. We got 490 kilometers with 100% full. Find out how much that cost. There's your timer, by the way. I'm not lying. <laughs> EV app. It honestly went quicker than I thought. I felt frustrated <laughs> making this video that I had to wait so long because I didn't plan to just hang around for an hour at this particular charger for you guys. But when I just went on a walk and did something, it didn't feel that bad. So I think that is the key with an electric car is like pick somewhere to charge where you have a dual purpose if you're not just charging up for like 15 minutes. So the final fee for the end of the charge was $7.77. Check this out. Cost me a total of $29.77. And 74 cents. And like I said, I charge at home most of the time. If you have solar panels and you can charge during the day while they are providing energy to your home, it's the more cost effective way to charge. But if I were to fill up my petrol tank, I think that would have been double the price for sure, which is 
frustrating. Petrol shouldn't be so expensive in the first place. So, well, there you have it. I hope that's helpful to you. And if you'd like to see any more EV tutorials or info videos, this is kind of directed at people that are new to EVs, this video. Um, but I think it's also really interesting to compare if you live in a different country or anything like that. And even though this info will be down in the video description, I just want to note this is the, this is the 27th of March, uh, 2025. There we go. Oh, I've got a Genesis pulling in near me. That's an expensive EV. Damn. <laughs> How you liking your Genesis, mate? <laughs> hey. How you liking your Genesis? I do like it. It's a bloody fancy car. <laughs> what did you have before that? What car did you have before that? A Mercedes. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Good stuff. BYD. Hey. Uh, the BYD um, are bigger than uh, Tesla now. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Screw yeah. Tesla. My daughter's got one of those. Ah, oh, good stuff. Yeah, they're a nice little runaround, eh? Yeah. yeah. Love it. Nice. Yeah, nice. You've got the fancy wheels, is it? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I got the premium one. Okay. Got a bit more range. Righto. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, nice. Been liking it. Mm. See you, mate.